recently one of my good friends, Mike, asked me an excellent question that I did not have the answer to, but it really intrigued me. And I've begun to look up the answer, and there are some really interesting clues um, that I'll share here. Uh, but his question was, when it, with regard to the Ger Tosha vow, which happens in front of three Havarim, Havarim being those who are experts in the details of an aspect of Torah law. Uh, so Havarim, the singular being Haver, a Haver. Um, so if a Ger Toshav is taking this b vow in front of three Havarim, can another already established Ger Toshav or Noahide be one of the three Havarim who witnessed this? Uh, so someone who is an expert in, let's say, not worshipping idols or uh, the seven Noahide laws, because that's what a Ger Toshav really is. Um, someone who takes on the seven laws of Noah, at least, which we've covered, uh, would encompass nine of the ten commandments, at least. And he takes on monotheism. Uh, so no idols and just one god. So the question is, can a God-fearing non-Jew be part or one of these three Havarim? So let's begin here with some clues, and I'll and I'll uh, try to make this quick. So as we know, Jethro was called by seven names. So was Moses. He was also known by seven different names, and we've discovered that they both have this name Heber. They both go by the name Heber. Both Moses and Jethro share this name. And Heber can also be Haver. It's the same three letters, the Het, Beit, Resh. So what's very interesting about this is who is a Ger Toshav? Any Gentile who takes upon himself in the presence of three Haverim not to worship idols. And the uh, Haver is a person devoted to the meticulous observance of mitzvot and the, the details of the law uh, in certain subjects. Now, what's very interesting about this is uh, the three Havarim, which is uh, related to Heber and the Ger Toshav here. Jethro himself was a Ger Toshav. So it says here... <laughs> Jethro had become what we call a Ger Toshav, which is a proselyte who had accepted the seven basic laws God gave to mankind. So the seven laws of Noah from Genesis 9, the Noahide uh, covenant. What's also interesting about this is you take the Ger Toshav or Noahide vow in, in the presence of three Havarim, and there are three Heber, uh, there are three Hebers in the Tanakh. So the very first ones are, uh, the very first one is Heber, who is the son of Berea, found in Genesis 46 and in Numbers, as you see there, Numbers 26. And then, so that's one. And then Heber the Canaanite who we've discussed is related to Jethro, and then Moses as well, found in 1 Chronicles 4.18. So there you have three Hebers in the Tanakh, in the Hebrew Bible, and then the Ger Toshav vow takes, front of, or takes place in front of three Havarim, one of whom, one of these Hebers himself was a Ger Toshav. Okay, so let's try and figure out, can a Gentile be a Haver and at least, you know, the seven laws of Noah, which he must know? So it says here, uh, we learn that the wife of a Haver is like a Haver. The slave of a Haver is like a Haver. And, we, and I know from studying this that they're talking about the Evid Kanani, who is a Canaanite slave or a 
non-Jewish slave, a non-Hebrew, a Gentile slave or Gentile servant. Uh, so the slave here, the Gentile slave, the Eved Kanani of a Haver, is like a Haver himself. All right. And then here is another interesting source where they're talking about a Kuti, so a Samaritan or a Babylonian who is not Jewish. They're saying here, they're talking about a Kuti who is a Haver. So here we have an example um, and who is one who is scrupulous in those areas. Um, so they're talking about a Kuti Haver. And then it says an Am Haaretz which is a the peop is one of the people of the world is anyone who does not appropriately tithe his produce and these kutis or kutim do tithe their produce appropriately as they are scrupulous with regard to that which is written in the torah as the master said any mitzvah that the kuti embraced and accepted upon themselves they are even more exacting in its observance than Jews. So here we have example, an example of Kuti who are non-Jews who are Chavarim. And here's another little hint. So we said Heber and Chavar are the same, and here it is. We'll check this out. At the bottom of the paragraph, you see a form of one of the names of Jethro, Ye or Yeter. This is a form of Yeter, which is one of Jethro's seven names. And even if you just take that Vav and move it to the end, you have Yitro.